Utah's rate of opioid use is one of the highest in the country. Across the nation, more than one million grandparents are now responsible for their grandchildren. And tonight's In Focus report, News 4 Utah's Haley Higgins looks at how one Utah organization is helping these grand families find their footing. What may look like a fun day at Grandma's house okay, hold on, Nana, we'll get it. is just home for these four kids. Oh See, Beth Klaus has been raising four of her grandchildren for five years now. I got guardianship in Utah because the mom was, is a drug addict and she does the pills and meth and alcohol. Beth did her best to take care of her daughter's children from afar, even getting them a secret cell phone to keep in touch. Before the kids permanently moved in with their grandmother, life was still unstable unpredictable. Kind of scary sometimes. There was always a mess in the house. Sometimes random people would be there. Their mother would often leave, sometimes for days at a time, which left the oldest, Alexa, to take care of her younger siblings. She kind of just, she was like our mom, and this she would... Mom. Whenever I ate, I would make enough for everybody, and whenever I would shower, I would make sure that they all showered first and we would all like every time I did something I realized that they needed it too. In the beginning moving in with their grandmother required an adjustment for everyone. In fact when the kids came Beth was living in a retirement community. She found a house and began parenting again. The kids now had rules, curfews, chores. These adjustments weren't all easy. And then Beth found help she'd been looking for. Then I found Children's Service Society. Specifically, the Grand Families Program at Children's Service Society. We help grandparents and relatives that find themselves raising their grandchildren due to the opioid addiction or the drug addiction of the parents. There are classes for grandparents and children separated by age. Grand Families is unique in offering social emotional support for these families. And all of a sudden they find themselves with grandchildren uh, at their home that they need to parent. The hardest thing for them is to accept that their adult child cannot do it. Children's Service Society also helps children adjust to their new situation. Beth and her grandchildren say the Grand Families program changed their lives. When I found Grand Families, you know, you think, think that you're the only one because I was working so hard. But when you see other people, like in Grand Families, that they have the groups. Grandkids will tell you that they went to those groups and that's when they learned that they weren't alone. And that's when I learned that I wasn't alone. Now everyone in Beth's household seems to be settling in. The kids are thankful for their grand family, especially their grandmother. She's awesome. She does everything for us. It's enough to take care of us like we're her own children. Mm -hmm. It means the world. They kind of covered it. In Salt Lake City, Haley Higgins, News 4, Utah. For more information on Children's Service Society and the Grand Families Program, head to our website, goodforutah.com.